Hi, I'm Dwayne Whitcomb, founder of FiddleQuest. Thank you for joining me on this first of a series of videos to help teachers use FiddleQuest to help uh, teacher students. FiddleQuest began simply enough in that I was somebody who had learned to play music classically and got an interest in fiddling. Um, and though I was doing other work at the time, my uh, friends of my children, about 20 years ago or so, uh, started asking for lessons. I looked for you know, a method that would be both fun and effective and that would be enjoyable as a teacher, and I just simply couldn't come up with anything that I really liked. So I started putting some things together. I was also looking for something that would really develop the ability of these kids to be able to play what they heard. I knew how important strong ears were for uh, continuing as a violinist. And so I was coming up with all sorts of creative ways to be able to get the music home to them. I was making uh, CD recordings, I was sending things home on little MP3 players, and I even discovered this really cool tool that allowed you to put a CD in a player and it would slow it down. Fortunately, the internet came along and saved me. There was uh, enough use of it by the time that I had a lot of resources together uh, that I began putting these things together into a website and that turned into FiddleQuest. My goal with these videos is to give you the essentials that you need to get started as a teacher. Now, if you're an experienced teacher who has already been teaching violin for a while, there's gonna be some videos that really are not gonna be as valuable to you as others. Uh, things like, you know, how do you teach the bow hold? You probably have already developed a technique that works well for you. There's no need to have to change that. FiddleQuest is not here to be prescriptive on how it is that you're supposed to teach the bow hold or how to, or any other particular technique. Um, but if you are a new teacher, you're probably wondering, well, how do I even do that? And so there will be videos uh, that address each of the points that you're going to want to be able to know how to do as a teacher. So uh, you may be following these sequentially or you may be jumping around. Uh, hopefully you'll find all the information that you need. You'll probably have a lot of questions along the way and feel free to shoot me an email. I'm gonna be continually updating this series, adding new things and uh, at the end and even probably putting some things in the middle which I might have left out uh, at the first attempt. Uh, so subscribe to the YouTube channel so you always get updated as to when new material is being added. FiddleQuest is a set of teaching tools that is designed to be used as a standalone curriculum, but a lot of teachers also use it as a supplemental curriculum. That is, they teach with a particular method already and they use FiddleQuest because they really want to develop certain skills that their current curriculum doesn't offer. The goal of FiddleQuest is really less about how skilled and fluent are we going to make this student, how ready for a professional career or how beautiful their sound is. Um, that is something that we're not as concerned with. We are concerned with making sure that kids still want to be playing when they're 25, 35, 75 years old. Kids that are still playing when they are adults, they're playing because they're having fun, that it's adding to the quality of their life. That is success. And the idea goes that if they are still playing, then they're still becoming even better violinists and their proficiency and fluency, expertise, the beauty of their music is only continuing to grow. No other method has an, a, a focus on the ears as closely as FiddleQuest does. From the very first song to the most advanced piece of music, kids have to learn each of the songs using entirely their ears. Now they will also learn to sight read, but we do that in a different approach, and I'll get into that in another video. But the most important thing to know is, kids develop a fluency with their ears that is unsurpassed by any other teaching approach. What that means is that no matter what the setting, whatever the style of music, they'll quickly be able to figure out how do I contribute to this musically. And whether they are leading the melody or whether they're playing harmony or rhythm, they're gonna be able to contribute and be able to add to the quality of that music. An important question to ask is, does FiddleQuest work? And the answer is yes. We're hearing back from students that they're going off to college and long after lessons have ended, that they are able to play with others, whether it's a college orchestra, whether it's just a jam session in their dorm, or whether they are joining in a band or in a church worship team, that they are enjoying playing music, that they love using their ears, that they have the confidence and the fluency to play with others. 
teachers are reporting to us that they are their students are more engaged in the lessons, that they're playing more at home, that they're less inclined to stop. And they're also reporting to us that they enjoy teaching more because the lessons are more relaxed. The students don't feel as stressed because they're able to rely on their ears. They're not focusing on the written notes as much. That allows for more of a conversational approach to learning. I'm pleased that you're interested in using FiddleQuest. If your goals as a teacher include helping your students become lifelong recreational players, if you have a personal interest in playing and learning and teaching a wide variety of styles of music, you're going to love FiddleQuest. I'm sure that you're going to have questions along the way. Feel free to reach out to me with an email. I'll be happy to reply to any questions that you have or put you in touch with teachers that can answer your questions. You'll also want to pay attention to any upcoming teacher workshops that we have participating in live workshops where you can ask questions, interact with other teachers is very helpful in being able to address things that you might not have even thought of. Thanks again. I'm looking forward to working with you.